Hello and welcome back to another Siemens S7 1200 and factory I.O. tutorial video. Today we're going to be completing the Siemens SCL code we started in the previous video, allowing up to 54 pallets to be placed into the rack. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. Now this is where we were at the end of the last tutorial video where the pallet was ready to be placed into the rack position one by lowering the forks. So let's stop factory IO and also stop the PLC. Then let's take a look at the SCL code by selecting block one. So let's enter the code to lower the forks by going to the bottom of the code and entering another region and naming it step six, val32. Then in the comment section, I'll write lower forks. OK, now we can enter an if statement. And then we can type in the conditions we need to be true to lower the forks. Firstly, the forks must be at their right limit. So we'll type I underscore S, then select I 2.1. Now we need an AND statement then word to shift must be equal to 32. I'll just delete the next comment as we already have one in for the region. Now let's bring the forks down. So type in O underscore S and select Q 1.3, which is lift and make it equal to false, which will lower the forks. Then we need to start timer one to give the forks time to go down before we move them into the center position in the next region. So timer one start equal true. And the last thing we do is set word to shift equal to 64. So that is it for region step six, where the pallet will be placed down in the rack. Now we need to retract the forks. So let's enter another region and we will name it step seven val 64. Then in the comment section, I'll write return forks to center. Now we can enter the condition to retract the forks to center. So let's enter an if statement and in the condition field, check the word to shift is equal to 64. And timer one is done. Now we need to bring the forks to the center. So type in O underscore S and select Q 1.5 from the list, then make it equal to false. This will send the forks back to their mid position. Now we need to reset timer one so that it can be used again by also making it equal to false. And again, the last thing we do is set word to shift and this time make it equal to one, two, eight. Great, let's just tidy this up a little. Okay, now let's test out what we've done to make sure it works. Let's download the code to the PLC and select yes. 
Then we'll put the PLC into run mode. Then start up factory IO. Now let's go into auto on the panel and press the start button to get the conveyors running. OK, we'll come out a bit. Let's watch what happens in the rack. The pallet is taken to rack position one. The forks extend into the rack, then the forks lower and retract to the center position. Great, that works fine. Right, let's stop factory IO and stop the PLC. Now let's add another region to return the stacker crane to its original position. And we'll name it step eight, val 128. In the comment area, we'll type in return stacker crane to home position. Then we'll enter an if statement and then enter the condition to get the stacker crane back home. So type in I underscore S and select I 2.2 for the forks in mid position. Let's delete the comment again before moving on. And then back in the condition field, let's enter an AND statement followed by word to shift equal to 128. That's it for the condition field. Then type in O underscore S and select QD 104, which is the target position, and make it equal to 55, which is the home position for the stacker crane. Then we can move 256 into Word to Shift. Now we need to give the stacker crane time to get moving before we check to see if it has stopped by starting timer one and checking for its timeout in the next region. So let's enter timer, then select timer one, start, M1.5 from the list and set it equal to true. Right, now let's enter the last region and name it step 9 val 256. And in the comment area, type in reset. Basically, this is where we will set everything to false, ready for the stacker crane to pick up another pallet. And let's enter an if statement. Again, let's delete the comment. Now in the condition field, let's type in not, then I underscore S and select input 1.6, mov X. We also have to check for the Z direction too. So, and not input underscore S and select I 1.7, mov Z. Then add an and again, and word to shift equal to 256. Then we add another and, and then check for timer one done. Okay, now we can reset all the outputs and internal bits. Stacker busy M1.2 needs to be reset to make it equal to false. And loading conveyor one loaded, M1.0, needs to be reset. So make that equal to false two. And also timer one start should be set to false.
and the left conveyor weight M1.3 should be set to false. Then lastly, word to shift should be set to zero. Right, let's download the code to the PLC and test it out. That's loaded. Let's start the PLC and then put factory IO into run mode. Now we can go into auto and press the start button on the panel and we are running. So let's see what happens. Let's see if the process works. Fingers crossed. OK, the pallet is picked up and sent to position one. The forks are lowered and then retracted. And the stacker crane is returned home, ready to pick up the next pallet. But it looks as though the small loader conveyor has not started. So the pallet struggles on, pushed by the transfer left conveyor, and actually goes on at a slight angle. So we need to make sure the small loader conveyor has started so that the pallet goes up to reflective sensor 5 in a straight line. So let's stop factory IO and find out why this is happening and make some changes to the code, which we will do in the next video. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video and would like to learn more, then please click the subscribe button and the bell so that you'll be informed as soon as a new video is uploaded. Meanwhile, if you'd like a free 30 day trial of Factory IO, then please see the link in the description below. It does give me a small commission if you decide to buy it within 60 days, which allows me to continue making videos like this one to help you program and learn more about automation. So happy control system programming with Factory IO. Also, feel free to check out my Patreon account. The link is also in the description below. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it all and see you in the next video. Hope you have a good day. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.